To some new information tonight in the brutal attack on a woman in broad daylight at a Breck Park. A source tells us the victim ran into the closest building, bloody and bruised, screaming for help. Police say she was raped and beaten Wednesday at Forest Community Park on South Harrells Ferry. The suspect still on the loose, and we now have a description of the man. News 2's Nick Perlin reports. Forest Park in Baton Rouge was quiet Saturday as kids played on the playground, climbing on the rock wall and on the swings. But on Wednesday, police say a woman was attacked here walking along this trail by a man who allegedly beat her and sexually assaulted her. The most troubling part, this happened in the middle of the day. A criminal uh, takes whatever opportunity they have to commit a crime. So it doesn't matter whether it's daytime, whether it's night, late evening. BRPD spokesman Elgin McNeely says there were likely people at the park on Wednesday. Those people may have even seen the suspect. He wants those who may know something or saw something to reach out and help police piece together the clues. We hope that by being a daylight hours, midday, that somebody saw something, you know, about this park being where it's at. You had to either ride a bike, motorcycle, or car here. McNeely also says that anyone who is that reckless enough to commit a crime in the afternoon may not wait long to attack another person. This person was uh, bold enough to attack someone broad daylight, you know. Uh, it's, it's not to say that this was their first time. It's not to say that this will be their last time. Nick that was Nick Perlin reporting. Though Breck told us they had increased patrols at the park, both Nick Perlin and our source say they did not see any law enforcement or park rangers there today. The victim described her attacker as a black man with short braids, average height, and around 200 pounds. She also believes she may have broken his nose while fighting for her life.